Hey guys, Marlo back again with yet another Funko Pop video review, and this time I have some new additions to my ever-growing Funko Pop Stranger Things collection, and I'm happy to say I have the new Dart, number 601, this is the Chase variant there, and I also have the regular version here, you can see with the more open to mouth, and the new version of the Demogorgon, number 602, this is a uh, 6 inch pop, so you can see there it's a uh, quite larger box, a really huge box, it didn't need to need to be this big really. You can see a lot of empty space inside there. I mean he's tall but he's not that wide or anything, so kind of a waste of space. So fortunate for me, I like to unbox my figures, so this stuff won't take up too much room in my collection. Before I do so, let's give you guys a closer look at the figures or the uh, the box. For the figures, here is the side with a nice illustration of Dart. The back of the box that shows some of the pops from the uh, previous, or you know, the current collection here. They were released a few months ago from today. What's today? Today is like February, I don't know, 21, something like that. 2018. And again, the back of the box here of the new Demogorgon. I didn't expect this to be a 6 inch uh, version, I thought it was just a new Demogorgon uh, in the uh, standard size, so I'm glad to see that it is in fact a larger figure, and it's a nice sculpt, looking a little bit more realistic and less stylized than the previous version. Again, let's take a close look at the artwork there, really nice. And last but not least, the Chase Dart, which is pretty much the same as the regular version, so not much to look at there. So let's go ahead and open all of them up and take a closer look at each of the pops out of their packages. Alright, and here are each of the pops out of their packages. Let's start off with the Chase Dart figure here. Let's take a closer look at him. He has his mouth closed. And he's stylized in that kind of funky, uh, you know, big head that the uh, Funko Pops are known for. Has almost a cube shape to him. And some nice washes throughout to bring out some of the details. So that's kind of neat. And the back of him there showing the uh, spotting pattern on the uh, back there. And see the uh, crazy sculpting and the details throughout. So not much else to this pop. Let's see, no head rotation, nothing like that. It's a pretty, uh, you know, fixed figure. There's not much else you could do with this. So he just sort of sits there. And in comparison, we have the standard version, and he has his mouth open. And that's looking really neat there with all the details of the teeth coming through. Very cool. So again, here is a side-by-side -side comparison. You can see the body is pretty much the same. He has that nice wash throughout, the same spotting. The only difference, again, really is just the head. So... There's the two side by side. Again, the Chase variant and the standard version. And last but not least, let's look at the new Demogorgon here, the six inch version. Look at the details in this guy. That's really cool. Look at that mouth. Wow. So a lot more lifelike. You know, a lot more details here in the skin. He's taller, I guess a lot more proportionate to the other pops. Look at the details there. And another plus is that he can stand on his own, unlike the original released version, which needed a stand. So I wouldn't be surprised if they came out with another Chase variant version of this. I mean, I don't know. They'll do another version maybe with a closed mouth, so we'll see if that happens. Let me show you the previous version. This is the original uh, Demogorgon. And you can see the size difference of the two. 
And this one's still pretty cool, but again, a little bit less detailed in a way. Um, a lot more stylized. And unfortunately, he doesn't stand very well or at all without the display stand, as you can see there. So I'll give you a side view, the profile. You can see the two there, how they look. And the back side of both. You see a lot more texture going on in the skin and a lot more going on with the body and like the posing there. And again the other side. So pretty cool. I mean this is still a really nice Demogorgon. I mean, it has a different look to it. It's uh, The mouth is a lot more wide open as opposed to this where it looks like it's still opening up a little bit more. And if you want, you can just imagine this is maybe like a fully, fully grown Demogorgon. This is probably, you know, still a younger stage version on the way to like being fully grown or something like that. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and unboxing and review, you Stranger Things fans out there. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share the video, like the video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, guys. Take care and keep on collecting. Bye-bye.